moral reflex. Moral reflex is an infantile reflex that is normally present in all newborns or infants. The moral reflex is normally seen at birth and it is an involuntary response to stimulation. This reflex is present up to four to five months of age as a response to a sudden loss of support. The infant feels as if it is falling. This reflex is typically assessed in newborns and in the will baby checkup to see if the reflex is present and if it disappeared as scheduled. The moral reflex evaluates the integration of the central nervous system. This tells us that the infant's nervous system is developing normally. How does the reflex work? The head is gently lifted with enough support to begin to move the body weight of the infant from the examination table. Support of the infant is then released suddenly, allowing the infant to fall backwards for a moment, but then quickly supported again. The normal response of the infant is to have a startled look. At the reflex ends, the infant draws its arm back to the body and then relaxes. Absence of the moral reflex in infants is abnormal. If the reflex is absent or abnormal, tests may be needed to examine the child's muscles. These tests may include shoulder x-rays or tests for disorder associated with a brachial plexus injury. Absence in both sides suggests damage to the brain or to the spinal cord. Absence only in one side suggests either a broken shoulder bone or an injury to the brachial plexus. In a child with a shoulder injury, palpation of the shoulder may cause the infant to cry. The infant may have an associated clavicle fracture. More reflex involves three distinct components. One, spreading out of the arms, abduction. Two, unspreading the arms, abduction. Three, crying usually. An intact moral reflex signals that the infant does not have a true brachial plexus injury. Differential diagnosis of brachial plexus injury in newborns. Clavicle fracture with pseudo paralysis, it is the most common. Proximal humeral epiphyseal separation and shoulder dislocation. Clavicle fracture with pseudo paralysis. An isolated clavicle fracture is the most common. Infants with pseudo paralysis from a fractured clavicle usually have an intact moral reflex. Most infants recover in 7 to 10 days from the pseudo paralysis. Patients should be followed up for clavicle fracture and for observation of the pseudo paralysis. The condition is easily distinguished from a brachial plexus injury because the infant with isolated clavicle fracture will usually have an intact moral reflex. Clavicle fractures occur in association with a brachial plexus injury in about 10% of patients. Persistence of the moral reflex beyond four to five months of age occurs in severe neurological situations. Persistence of moral reflex beyond 24 months of age indicates a poor prognosis for independent ambulation, especially if the setting balance is not achieved by two years of age. It is believed that as the brain development progresses, the voluntary movements are taken over and this reflex disappears. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.